hi everyone welcome back to my channel and on today's video i'll be showing you how to take good photos for your online store i'll be telling you the best app to edit your photos with and i'll also be telling you where to get affordable display materials if you're new to my channel you're welcome my name is penny charles and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for always being here i don't take it for granted <music> So this video was inspired by a lady that sent me a DM on Instagram. She was telling me that she has good dresses but then she has not been able to sell them online. So I asked her to send me photos uh, of the dresses uh, because number one, I wanted to see what kind of dresses that she had. And uh, number two, I wanted to see the kind of photos she had taken. Well, if you're running an online store, it's very important to have good photos because people buy what they see. We are visual and uh, if I see something good, I'm likely to click on that page and, uh, you know, see what else they have. And if I was interested in buying anything, rather if I was ready to buy um, something or if I was looking um, forward to buying something, I definitely do an inquiry or, you know, just go directly and uh, purchase um the dress that I saw or the pants that I saw or the top that I saw. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if you want to succeed online, you have to take good photos. Before you even go to marketing or start wondering how to put ads on Facebook and Instagram, first things first, you need to make sure you take very, very, very good photos. And even if you're running um, a physical store, you have to make sure your display looks so good. Because I mean, most of the time, ladies, and I've told you this so many times, we don't buy clothes because we really don't have clothes at home. We buy clothes because they looked so good. Like, okay, display on who are in a watu, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, that is the work of, uh, you know, the display materials, the work of mannequins and everything. So the lady shared the photos that she had taken. And let me tell you guys, she had good dresses, yes, but then she had not taken good photos. Um, after she shared what um, uh, she had, and then she was like, wow, how do you take this? And I was so inspired because, you know, I had never thought like, you know, that... Um, I'd never thought that um, taking photos would be a challenge until I met this lady and I saw the kind of photos that she had taken and I said, you know what, maybe it's not even her alone, maybe there are other people out here who don't know how to take photos and uh, that inspired me to do this video. So she compared my photos and hers and she was like, what have I been doing? And she asked me which kind of um, phone do you use? I tell her, I told her I use um, a Samsung A31. And she was like, imagine I have the same phone. And we had a good laugh because, I mean, she has a good phone. She has good dresses. But the photos, Ukikumbe Azake and Azangu, um, there's a huge difference. I'm going to put some on the screen. After that, we had a good laugh. And because, I mean, she had everything. It's not like he atasema hana hana simupua because, number one, akona simupua. And it's just that she was not getting it right. So at the end of the day, I promised her that I'm going to do a video to show her how uh, she should be taking the photo. I brought a mannequin home uh, for me to show you how you're supposed to take good photos, all right? First things first, before we even get to the practical part, you have to make sure you have good lighting. If you take photos using the natural light, you have to make sure Una time saile lighting iko poor kabisa. So that way you're going to get very good photos na utakuwa na lighting poor kabisa. So that way you're not going to need a lot of editing. I actually don't do a lot of editing on my clothes and um I take uh the photos with natural light. Na kuna ile time ikipita sichukwangi photos because I know past that I'm not going to I'm not going to take good photos. Another tip when you're going to buy um the display materials and especially kama wanna buy mannequin kama hi, make sure we buy mannequin nikona bamba mkubwa <laughs> all right tunaitanga the ambobe the way the ones that we started with the ones that tulikuwa tunanua kitambo ni tudogo sana and 
hatuna hip sana hatuna bam bam so atuongi picha vizuri i have not done anything uh, on this dress daishika ama kufanyia anything but it already looks good because this dummy is so good but then after taking my photos i do very little on you know the photos and i'm good to go so this dummy is also um going to help you take very good photos i have two plugs for the mannequin and there's a lady in town and i told elizabeth i'm going to link her number on the screen and i have another guy in isli and i told abdala i'm also going to link his number on the screen elizabeth sells this at 1500 kenyan shillings akotao and abdala is based in isli and now the mannequins at 1300 kenyan shillings so kama unataka ku buy moza you can buy it in town because uki consider story of and all that but if you buy more than one or more than two you can go to isli because that way you're going to save uh, more money i bought this nini kwa nenda kuongeza i bought a uh, four of them in isli at 1300 kenyan shi so can i isli kama unataka ku buy more it will make more sense i have this black dress that is almost the size of the mannequin and i have some other two dresses that are six size ya the mannequin because the lady was asking me so kama nguo ni kubwa kuliko the mannequin how do you do it all right i'm going to uh, i'm going to show you all of that so don't worry so this black dress looks already good in this mannequin because you can see even the behind looks are uh, okay but then the waist doesn't look so good so in such a case um kama nguo inatoshia vizuri uh, you just need to do very minimal and uh, you take a peg like this unachukua peg kama hii unaeka hapa nyuma unauma hapo nyuma there's a very big difference already because the waist looks very snatch the waist looks very small and uh, the dress fits so well like it looks so good and i've told you guys we are visual and we buy what we see it doesn't matter kama tuko na hii shape ama tuna we just want to see something that that looks good all right so okay display hivi whether ni kwa physical shop ama ni ama unapiga picha it's going to look good and uh, ukichukua picha kika hivi you are going to need very minimal um editing because for my dresses mu edit waist i tell you the app that i use uh, to edit um the, the photos so the, the, i use the app ngwe yaka poa ka waist ama hips zimeka as you come uh, as you go balanced there's an app that i use to you know um shape the waist kidogo maybe naongeza hips kidogo like just uh, to be able to shape it up uh, i mean to shape it So even if I'm going to use the app um you know to edit photos ukichukua picha zikaka hivi tayari hauta need ku edit sana ita itakuwa very minimal na itakuwa imekupunguzia kazi and that is why I'm encouraging you kenda ku buy mannequin nua huyu aliambo ata ku save a lot of time and uh, you'll find that you're using very kidogo time to edit your photos so that is the first dress You can see how it looks. It looks so good and you know the waist is snatched. Kama umeka hapo nje kwa shop, watu watakuja kutaka kupima hiyo nguo. All right? So that is the first dress. So we have this dress that is a bit um oversized and as you can see kuna a lot of space here and let me adjust the camera. So this dress is oversized as you can see there's a lot of space here now ukipindua huko nyuma there's also this space you can see that so to make sure this dress looks like the black one you use pegs again and first of all you you snatch the waist you can see the waist is already snatched now make sure umepanga vizuri all right so first things first you snatch the waist you can see the waist is already snatched If you take a photo as it is, it at all is masculine. I don't know whether you can see that. You know, it, it looks like it has space here and uh, still to me it doesn't look so good. So to finish this, unachukua ngapi nyingine kama hiyo nilikuwa natumia ka waist and then unauma hapa kidogo pia. You can see so masculine image. If you take a photo of this, you're going to have a very good photo and again you're going to need minimal editing let me bring it closer you can see it looks really really good uh, the waist is snatch no kuchini kuna kapoa so that is what you do kama dress iko kubwa kuliko the mannequin 
So we have another dress that is uh, oversized as well. And for this one, seam was straight. So at work, the kaila pegi hapa chini. It's some sort of a shift, but ya mtumkubwa. And what you do with these ones, these ones you don't uh, use a peg because um, ato kitumia peg, haitakuwa as snatched as you want and it might lose shape because ideally nafa kukua some sort of a shift. So what you do just to make sure you're putting things into, into perspective and um, also to make sure people understand this is a shift dress, unachukua belt. Ukenda gikomba, buy belt moja mamili ya kupiganga two photos. So such a dress uh unamekanga belt you can see that a huge difference already let me bring it closer you can see that there's already a very a very big difference so for kitu kama shift ama shirt dress unaweka two belts and uh uh, people are going to understand that this is a shift ama in a shirt dress you see straight so what okay peg mingi mingi it's not going to look good all right that is how you take good photos first of all you have to make sure the dress looks very good on the mannequin another thing is the camera angles usishikie camera hapa hautachukua picha poa just take uh, your phone at an angle place kama hii hapa hivi uh, place your phone there and you know take a photo and at the end of the day you're going to have very very good photos photos that are instagram worthy what to instagram by then wa pity and you have to convince them uh, that you have good stuff and you're going to do that by um having good photos and now work on your marketing all right so that is how you take um uh, photos for different uh, uh for different dresses sizes and also um types all right uh, my friend also had uh, some trench coats and uh, she had not taken good photos again and i also brought a trench coat for me to show you how you take photos for trench coats for the trench coats who are see piggy in a mannequin i i take a uh, layout your chini because that way uh you're going to see them nicely and Kwa dami huwa hazitokei poa sana. I have taken with the mannequin, yes, but sionangi zikikaa poa sana. So for the trench coats, I, I lay them down nazi, nazi shape and then I take very good photos. I'm going to show you that in a bit, alright? So I have my trench coat here, leo ni ile siku. And I'm also going to link on the screen what the lady had taken and uh, how my trench coats look like. And you can compare yours for yourself. You can see whether you've been doing a good job ama you really need to pull up your socks. So for the trench coats, I, I lay them down like this. I hope you can see that. Let me move it a bit closer. Okay. So for the trench coat, haina kazi mog and what you do you just make sure you snatch the waist, all right? You snatch the waist na mkono zako. So unaisukuma tu hivi, unapanga huku hivi chini kama iko na kama iko na nini? Kama iko na cut at the back, you make sure uh, people are seeing that cut, all right? And if it has a belt like this one, you belt it. Um, to make sure, what I may notice, um, your trench coat has a belt. I take a book, you can have a book of your choice, uweke tu mahali, just to, you know, to spice it up, all right? And I use, mostly I use this kabag, na iweka iwo chini. Mikono kulinga na how big they are, or how long they are, you can choose to fold them like this, I hope you can see that guys you can choose to you know fold them like that or you can just choose to like basically uzipange tu the siri ni kupanga ngo yako hapa chini and uh, make sure it looks very good then you take your photo all right so that is what i do with the trench coat ile anikizia kama nikin because most of them are big they don't look so good na wezi yaka peg when you tunaka dresses in a couple so for the trench coats i prefer the uh, because it gives me very good photos. I mean, guys, I'm already breathing hard. Taking photos is not easy. And when you see people selling uh, 
clothes online just know they've put in a lot of work because just to make sure you've captured a good photo to put out there you know just to make sure um your dress ama your trench coat looks good si raisi guys so just to make sure umepanga hiyo nguo umekelea kwa kitabu hiyo kwa kibeti it's it's a lot of work and uh, people who sell uh, clothes online do a lot of job like we do a lot of work all right this is how my trench coats look like and uh, as you can see from my photos there's some sort of a model hapo kando and then kunele trench coat hiyo leo utachini on this other side to get those models there's an application that you go and search uh for those models you can search on google or you can use pinterest i use pinterest because it's easier and i know most of you are familiar with pinterest so ukifungua pinterest hapo juu kabisa kuna hoga na ka icon ka camera so you click on that camera hapa chini kabisa itakupatia option ya ku upload so what you do you upload um the photo that you took with your phone so kama ni hiyo uh, trench coat most of the time na kwanga nimezivalisha mannequin na piga photo kama ni dress i want to look for a model on pinterest i take a photo of the dress okay press upload you go and upload the photo that you want to look for a model for then you scroll up unaangalia sometimes you'll get the exact thing sometimes you're not going to get the exact thing but unaweza pata something close to what you want and especially for trench coats so kama ni trench coat kama hiyo ya beige ni mwanesha i have already taken a photo with my mannequin and why i don't post them photos i take with my mannequin is because they don't look so good and i want my 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 trench coats to look good so for the trench coats i prefer to go and look for the model so that i can have a model on one side and uh, you know your layout ya chini on the other side because that way it brings out a very good photo that is instagram worthy all right for the dresses and don't i don't do that because it's easy to edit the dresses and you are done so to look for the models you go to pinterest upload the photo it a search too and then it a kuletea uh, models come on over your dress maybe ama kama your trench coat if you don't get the exact thing you choose something that is close to what you wanted to upload kisha pata model unaenda kwa photo grid you put one photo on the one one side and then the one that you, uh, you took on the other side and that way you have a very good photo um for the dresses i edit them kidogo as i mentioned and i edit them with a with an app called body editor so hiyo body editor ni ya ku snatch waist inaongeza anga you know uh, boobs kidogo na inaongeza hips as well so if you take a photo of your dress and you feel like you need to snatch the waist kidogo you use the body editor you use the body editor application uh, you can find it on play store if you're using an android phone for iphone i'm not so sure but you can just search it there are so many um applications that will edit the body because zinaongeza anga hips zinaongeza waist na unaweza ongeza um okujupia all right so that is what i do i use a uh, body editor to edit my dresses i snatch the waist si sana hata by the way i snatch the waist kidogo kama hips za nikalia imbalance na zibalance vizuri and my photo looks so good and please note i don't filter my dresses i don't filter anything that i put online i just take it as it is so in conclusion for you to take good photos have a good phone uh, you know make sure you have good lighting make sure you have a good background and do anything else you can just to add spice on your dresses or on your trench coats or on whatever you're selling and that is it guys for today ni mechoka hiyo kazi ya kupiga picha is not easy and uh, that is it for today guys and i hope you really learned a lot i hope you really learned how to take photos and you my friend mwenye nilikuwa nachekelea picha zako mwenye tulikuwa tunachekelea picha zako na yeye i really hope you you know you get you've gotten something and you really gotten how to you know go about everything and um, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were subscribed to my channel. Also don't uh, forget to give this video a very big thumb. It's going to mean a lot to me. If you want further clarifications, if you have more questions, please leave a comment on the comment section and I definitely definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for always being here. Thank you for the ladies uh, that have reached out to me on Instagram. I'll send you a shout out very soon, all right? That is it guys for today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.